lesson on how I play uh, tight fitting jeans. I'm not saying it's the right way, if that's even such a thing. Uh, it's how I hear it. And um, it's, it's, you know, you're hitting a lot of melody stuff. I don't know what exactly what instruments or settings or whatever they're using on a record or anything like that. Like the, anyone's right or wrong, kind of do it however you want to do. For me, it's just about hearing a song and playing it. For me, a way that, that I hear it and, you know, not playing it pretty accurately or embellishing whatever I can. Anyway, here's how I play. Um, Tight Fitting Jeans by Conway Twitty. Now I'm gonna show you how to play it without a modulation, because that's, uh, I think that's how I typically play it, that might, but, on, but on the record it modulates. And I guess I could show you how it modulates, and then after that it's just basically playing it higher up the neck, or if you're playing acoustic, playing it with a capo at that point. Um, <clears throat> and playing it in the next key up. I don't know if it's half step or whole step, but to play it and then I'll remember. But um, so here's how I play it. I play it in the key of A, and it starts off with the with the lick um, on an A chord, one chord. So I'm just kind of holding down these three strings: the second, third, and fourth string, or the D, the. Uh, D, G, and B string, which is an A, but I'm, I'm kind of holding it, I'm doing it like this, and I'm really only pressing down the D and the G string to do this lick. But we're playing it in A here. So it starts, I'll play it real slow. back and forth on these, on the D and G string. So I'm, I'm, you could do it with a pick, but I'm doing it with my finger. Hitting that G string. Hitting it twice. I'm doing that three times. Just repeating that. So, yeah, so just doing that three times, I think. Four times. So it's. And then go into the E chord. fingers and then there's a hammer on there on the A string hammering from the A onto the B note the second fret there so it's alternating pick pattern there. And then I walk up uh, on the sixth string from the open E string, second and fourth fret, back to the A. What was going on with my light? That's weird. That's some yeah, weird things here. Let's do that. All right. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'll play it real slow. Uh, it's A and I'm... I'm using my pinky to hit this fourth fret on the D string. So you're holding down the second fret. And you're not, and you just, I use the pinky because it's skinnier, but make sure you don't hit the G string because it stays open. 
So then the chord, then the chords uh, for the song is. She tried to hide it by the faded denim clothes she wore. So it's A, D, A, and I'm doing a little walk up to the D. She tried to hide it by the faded. So I'm, I'm walking up, hitting the second and fourth string on the fifth, uh, second and fourth fret on the fifth string, which is the A string. She tried to hide it by the faded denim clothes she wore back to eight, but I... So this is pretty much the rhythm for the whole song, or not the whole song, it changes a little bit, but for the verses, uh, for the singing part of the verses, it's... It's an alternating pick pattern like that. That's what I'm doing when I'm in A, I'm hitting the, the A string, and then E string, and then... And then just chiming the rest of the chord with my with my two fingers, but you could go, you could do it with a pick. So to continue, all right. Uh, she tried to hide it by the faded denim clothes she wore, but I knew she'd never been inside a bar before. So I'm going to B seven there. So the B seven is. Second finger, oh yeah, middle, middle finger, second fret, fifth string, first finger on the uh, the D string on the first fret, and then the ring finger on the second fret, G string, and then the pinky on the sixth string, uh, the E string on the second fret. So these three are on this, are alternating every other string on the second fret, and then you got first finger there on the first fret of the D string. <clears throat> but I, but I knew she'd never. And I do a little walk up there. Let's look like a walk up from B to B to A. But I knew she'd never been in. First finger on the first fret of the A string, and then my uh, middle finger on the second fret, and then you, so then you got your chord there, right there, the B7 chord. But I knew she'd never been inside a bar before. Back to the E, back to the E. And I do a walk up again. She said you got me figured out, but I'm not what I up to the D same way we did the first time. But I'm not what I seem. And for a dance, I'll tell you about these. Go to the E A, so there's no B seven the second time. How about these tight fitting jeans, so the A to the E, and sometimes I'll do a walk down. So I'll go hit the A string twice and then the fourth fret on the E string, low E string, and the second fret on the low E string, and then you're gonna open E there. So, uh, and she knew I saw right through her tight fit jeans. I don't usually walk back up, it's kind of an honest, but I saw right through her tight fit jeans. And then there's the little musical break there, kind of like a turnaround. In, in, in between the verses. I'm probably not saying the right words. Don't pay attention to the sequence of the words and the verses. I'm just singing them for placement, but. And she knew I saw right through her tight fitting jeans. And then we go back to the intro again. Is that what we're doing again? And she knew I saw right through her tight fitting jeans. She said, yeah. So, um, 
Oh, it's different. It is different. Yes, you're right. It's, it's, I see you're right. I'm going to talk to um, Talk to whoever I'm filming this for. Uh, so it's different in the uh, the turnaround in between the verses. And she knew I saw right through her tight fitting jeans. So it's. So instead of hitting the G string twice, it's. slow. Hard to play when I'm thinking about it. So it's hitting the G string, hammering on to the fourth fret with your pinky on the D string. So you're hitting that G string twice the second time around. And she knew I saw right through her tight fitting jeans. So that's why they go. I ask her what's a woman like you doing here. I see you used to champagne, but I'll buy you a beer. Same, same progression again. Same little walk ups and everything. She said, you got me figured out, but I'm not what I seem. And for a dance, I'll tell you about these tight-fitting jeans. So then after, there's the verse, and there's a little turnaround, and there's another verse. And then we're going to go from the A up to the D, walk up from the A to the D. Is that right? Oh. She's all right through her tight-fitting jeans. She's... No, nope, that's not right. We're gonna go back down to the E. Uh, she said, yeah, my bad. So we go from the A, walk back down to the E, so. And then the chorus starts on the E chord. She said, I'm married money. I'm used to wear it. So I do another little walk up there. I use my, uh, use my second finger. Finger and then my pinky there. So the beginning of the chorus is. She said, I'm married money. I'm used to wearing pearls. Walk again up to the D. I use a lot of walks in here because you can kind of hear them on the record. It's the bass line doing that. She said, I'm married money. I'm used to wearing pearls. But I always dreamed of being. A little thing there, I'm like, her, but I've always dreamed of. What am I doing there? Um, I know I'm doing a little trick there with my finger or something. I can't remember what I did. She said, I'm married money, I'm used to wearing pearls, wear pearls, but I've always dreamed of being, yeah. Then to B, B7 again, just a good old boy's girl. So, yeah, so it's A. So the chorus starts off E, walks up to the A, and then walks up from the A to the D. But I've always dreamed of being. And you can do a walk down there too. Sometimes I do that, I think. But I've always dreamed of being. No, I don't. No, never mind. I don't, that doesn't feel right there. Um, So it's. But I always dreamed of being. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, 
Said I married my used to wear pearls But I've always dreamed of being Yeah, just go to the A and a walk uh, Just a, and then a B7 Just a good old boy's girl So I do the B7 there And this time I alternate the bass line on the B7 So I'll go Move my ring fang, uh, middle finger to the 6th fret And you hit that note which would be a, a, an F sharp. And then back to the E. A cowboy's dream. So it's just A, back to the D, B. Lord, I love that lady wearing tight fitting jeans. So again, that at the end of the chorus there. Go from the A, walk down to the E. You use a lot of walk-ups in there. You can, if you listen to the live, whatever, uh, the other record, other video of me doing this, you'll, I do them without thinking about them, but you can kind of hear them. But I'm showing you what the walk-ups are, and then you just kind of use them as you, you will, um, where you want to use them. Don't overuse them. It makes sense when they're, like, you can hear it sonically in the, in the song that it's walking up. Um, so that's the chorus. I'll do the chorus slowly one more time. She said, I'm married money. I'm used to wearing pearls. But I've always dreamed of being just a good old boy's girl. Um, for the chorus. I did do something there in the chorus. I'm trying to catch myself doing it. Let me see if I can catch myself this time. <laughs> she said, I'm married money. I'm used to wearing pearls. But I've always dreamed of being. Okay, so before I'm going to that A, I'm hitting. Always dreamed of being. Always dreamed of being. I'm like hitting the second fret on the A string, which would be a B note. I'm hitting that before I land on the A chord there. So I'm doing that there. You don't have to do that, but it's a little thing I'm just doing. Um, always dreamed of. Yeah. Anyway, that's one more time, real slow. She said, I'm married money. I'm used to wearing pearls. But I've always dreamed of being just a good old boy's girl. And I do a little hammer on thing there with the E. Lift up the middle finger on that A string and hammer down on the second fret. Just lifting the finger off of the E chord and then hammer it back down. We call that the on the on the road again leg. That's how it's called on the road again. So anyway, so that's the chorus, and then out of the chorus. So then the chorus is like the guitar break, and I'm just kind of doing a little thing, emulating what's on the record. Lord, I love that lady wearing tight fitting jeans. So here's the solo. playing over the chords, the chords you're playing over for the solo. So that's the chords you're playing over for that solo. So it starts off like this. So I'm doing, starting on the D string, second fret. from the 
fourth fret with this ring finger up to the sixth fret and then have the ring finger on the fifth fret of the B string. six and hit that B string on the fifth fifth fret underneath and then you slide back down. And then hit the second fret on that uh, same G string. And then just come back down there hit fourth fret second fret on the D string. So you're starting, you're kind of doing, going up and then coming back down. It's like this. That's the first section there. Um, <clears throat> and that's going from the A chord to the D chord back to the A chord. As you can hear it. So I'm just saying, so it's going from the A chord to the D chord back. You don't kind of need to know that you're playing over it but you're sonically but this that's these are notes you're playing <laughs> You 
could do it there. If you wanted to let, I'm hitting it. So it's that's pretty much the whole solo, I think, yeah. You could do that, you could add that on there, you don't have to. Um and then do a walk up again from the E. And then you're back into the next verse. Um, so then from there, you just repeat everything you did on the first verse and that little turnaround part of the verse. Uh, that, that, uh... Anyways, so you just repeat everything from the first verse up to that chorus. Uh, after after the guitar solo, uh, you just repeat everything we did on the previous verse and the little turnaround part of the verse in there, and then you go into the chorus again. Um, if you were gonna do it, if you're gonna do it like the record, you would do the modulation right after that guitar solo. So the uh, which means it, the, the fifth chord of the new key we're doing when we modulate it. I think, I think that's what it is. Yeah, so if you're gonna modulate it, if you wanna do it, the modulation, it's a whole step. Modulation. So right after that solo, you would hit an F sharp for a second, and then and then your new chord of the new key would be a B. So we now jump from the key of A to the key of B. She said you get we danced every dance and lower the beer that we went through. That's a little trickier. Um, um, that's how it does on the record, but I, I just stay in A when I play it. Um, you could modulate, you don't do that's a whole nother lesson. Um, or if you, you could learn it uh, on acoustic, you could capo the second fret and play the song in G, and then when you modulate, you just go to A. So you play all the same chords you play in A, after the modulation, but then you'd play the first half in G, but it would sound like A because you would have the capo on the second fret. Uh, but anyway, I'll show you how, without the modulation, how I do it. So coming out of the solo, you go right back into the verse. We danced every dance and lower the beer that we went through. I'm satisfied I did my best to make your dream come true. Same thing as the first time. She said you like a present. In my mind she's still a lady That's all I'm gonna say I knew that I'd been broken By the time we parted ways 
I know I held more woman than most ties I've ever seen. That night I knew a lady wearing tight fitting jeans. And now she's back in, so it's the exact same thing that I taught you. Everything after the guitar solo is just an exact repeat of before the guitar solo. Just the verse with the little turn around in the middle of verse and then the chorus. And then after the last chorus, uh, Lord, I love that lady wearing tight fitting jeans. And then I do the solo, a like part of the solo to get out of the song. Lord, I love that lady wearing tight fitting jeans. exactly the solo it's you're playing the, the you're playing the solo exactly again the what i'm calling the solo uh, um you're playing that exactly the same way again you're just at the end of it you're just da -da 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 -da, and you're done you know you can do it however you end it however you want to like that but that's uh the gist of it uh take the feel free to Use the video, slow it down, or zoom in on the hands, or whatever, or just go back and listen to it. I think I explained all the notes, what what it is. I know it might be uh, tricky to like slow it down and decipher everything I'm saying, and get your hands to to do it, and then uh, practice it and make it more natural. But that's that's what I'm doing on this song, and I hope that helps. <laughs>